Are you looking for a wireless keyboard that can go up to 10 meters by the name of Cherry? Well, don't look any further because this video will get you up to date. Now, we've got a mouse, this is a bundle package, and we've got the keyboard here. And they're not mechanical keys or anything like that, but if you're looking for a keyboard that you just want to get things typed up and you want it to be robust and it's a bit weighty so it doesn't move across the table, and it, you actually want to get your stuff done without having any problems and you want it to last a little bit and you want the mouse to be wireless, there you go. This video is going to cover that. Anyway, we're going to be testing it out because this has got DPI up to 1000 to 2000. And basically what it means is that it's not a gaming mouse or anything like that, but it's quite weighty in hand, ergonomics, it can work in left and right hand. It comes with a charging cable, which is USB 2 at the end, and then a, this cable here, which is just plugged into the front of the mouse. So you charge it to your laptop and you can also use it or off a normal desktop computer or a Mac computer while it's connected and you can actually just keep it charged and actually use it or you can do vice versa and plug it into the keyboard at the back and it's also got on and off button there as well so you can save your power and it's also got an on and off button underneath the actual mouse as well it's got beautiful glide feet as well it's got laser uh, action so when you're actually using the mouse as well so it's going to be laser activated so it means it's going to be quite precise and stuff like that and obviously DPI means that if you've got a really massive screen you will need a higher DPI so it can tell the computer information with data going back and forward to say look I need to go faster because it's a bigger screen I've got to have coverage on or if you've got a normal size screen up to like 30 inch you'll be fine with one of these and obviously smaller you'll be definitely fine you can just have a lower DPI but also if you're doing something like um, a I don't know, you need to do something a little bit slower, you can do, you can switch DPIs, and then obviously go to the higher one if you need it a little bit faster. So only two options there. But anyway, the batteries are just normal lithium batteries in both of them. Um, they're in the top and the bottom up here. On this keyboard, it has got media buttons, so it's got home, lock, and email, and also a calculate button just above the numpad numpad so you can easily go to your numeric keys and type onto that side or have them active or not active it's got print screen and all your windows keys and all your normal keys that you normally would normally need if you're actually doing any business work or anything like that it also has an indicator there for the battery life as well and a nice scroll wheel it feels pretty heavy and robust and it's really nice to uh, touch now what we want to do is test this out on the screen, we're going to get Ellie and then type out um, a couple of things and see what sort of level that she can type out with using these keys. At the moment, what I, what I can tell about these keys on the actual mouse is that it's very clicky but it feels really nice and precise. The scroll wheel feels really nice and it's nice and grippy and it's quite a decent size. Keys feel nice and um, don't feel awkward or anything like that. So the keyboard has got an indicator on there which will tell you if the battery is going to die, which will come red and when it's fully charged it will be green. And I think I will definitely give this keyboard, because of price, probably about 6 out of 10. Because it's really decent, it feels robust, it feels heavy and it's by a name brand called Cherry. And also the mouse is called Cherry. <laughs> and obviously you need a receiver and that's also by Cherry. But why so big Cherry? It just feels really nice. But anyway, at that price point at 70 euros, you're not going to go wrong. But let's go and take it over to the desktop and let's go and see how it performs. So basically, we, I've got Ellie to actually do the typing because me, I can't type at that level. And obviously she's an expert and that's what she's employed to do. And uh, that's her favourite thing, da -da -da -da, and all that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, Ellie is much faster than me. And she'd probably be better at gaming. But So this is the end of the review. Hope you liked it. If you did, subscribe, share, like, affiliate link down below that you can buy this keyboard. Excellent. And if you really want to truly support me, why don't you watch this video? This video is going to be the MSI gaming like clutch mouse thingy. It's called a GM60. Can't really tell you too much about it because you have to watch that in the next video. And then... Hey, how you, how you doing? What, are you alright? Looking good. Yeah, you look good anyway, too. I'm off. Great See you later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>